This is an item many are touting as Louis Vuitton's best value. Hi, it's Jen. Let's get right to the unboxing. All right, we got the signature box, and I've come to learn that this color is called Saffron. It's Louis Vuitton's signature color. We've got the envelope with the receipt and stuff in it. I have seen so many YouTube videos about this Louis Vuitton item. I just had to see for myself, is it the best value that Louis Vuitton offers? And I also have this LV item that is often compared to this one because they are currently the same price. We've got the trademark blue ribbon here, box with the magnetic clasp, dust bag, and what is this? Oh yeah, we've got the Kirigami pochette. As of early 2023, the Kirigami pochette currently retails for $745 USD plus tax, and that is the same price as this other item, the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Now, a lot of YouTubers and influencers I've seen are saying that the Kirigami pochette is actually Louis Vuitton's best value. Now, this is sort of an envelope style closure, small leather good, even though mostly, so it's canvas on the outside and then leather on the inside. There is one snap on the pochette, but it comes with three of them in different sizes. So this is the large, and this has kind of a ballerine pink interior. Oh, I got a made in France. Let's take some quick measurements. The large size is a little over nine inches long, a little over six inches tall. So I've seen a lot of folks use this as a clutch, which would be cute. Now they do sell conversion kits for this product. I've seen them everywhere, slip this into each pouch. And then I've seen people adding chains to it. I'm not sure I would do that just because I do feel like it might damage or wear down or dent the edges here, like at this little corner. So I don't know if that's something I would do, but it's something you could do. It might affect the value of the item. So there's the large size. This is the medium size. All right, this one is about six inches long by a little over six inches by about four and a half inches tall. And I would say you could probably get this to about one inch thick. Now you can like sort of stuff these. I don't know if I would do stuff it to like the max. And the medium size has a really beautiful, I would say kind of like a rougey, orangey red interior. So I do like that they have different colors on the inside. And here's the baby guy here. This, oh, I actually kind of bought the set for this one. I just thought it was so cute. It's got this gold hardware. This one has sort of a burgundy interior. And the little one is about a little under four inches long by like 2.75 inches. So you can slip credit cards in here or gift cards. You could put cash in here. But I just thought this baby one was so cute. I can kind of see why LV priced these items this way. I think the design is very simple. It's really just one pattern piece, stitch it together, put some glazing on the edges, add the snap in the middle. And the snap in the middle is really what holds this whole thing together. This piece on the lower flap, this is stitched down so it doesn't flop around, but the smaller ones, so like the medium one does not have this. So this is kind of open here. So I guess technically things could fall out. It seems fairly secure. It does look like each one is stitched in the center here. So there are two pieces that go inward and then there's a bottom flap. It does look like on all of the pouches. Oh wait, no, this is not sewn down. Okay, so correction. I thought this was sewn down. It is not. So the medium size and the small size do not have this extra stitch line for reinforcement. If you're considering this set, just know that going in. So the small one doesn't either. But again, you could certainly use this for quite a few things. All right, so I got a materials card. I did not get a tag with this set, I don't believe. So yeah, I don't know why. I've heard of people not getting the the, the tag with it. So I don't know. I don't think it's in here. But I again, I do have the receipt, exchanges and returns. And I had kind of a hard time ordering this. It was constantly like in and out of stock on the website. So I sort of had to stock the website for a little bit just in order to order it. I also think because it's been a little bit since Louis Vuitton has done a 
across the board price increase. I do feel like maybe that's coming in the future. Again, I cannot confirm anything, but I do think that because this set has been priced so well, and when I say priced well, obviously that's pretty relative to the fact that this still is a luxury brand, so this product is insanely expensive compared to a lot of other more everyday brands. I have noticed that the Kirigami pochette was not affected by the last few price increases that LV did. So I am wondering if they do another one, if this item is going to go up in price. I certainly think that's a possibility, especially with the amount of people doing videos and content surrounding this set and talking about what a great value it is. And people are really doing a lot of creative things to this, these products to make them into handbags. Now, my first impression, I think this is a pretty well-made item. It doesn't feel super flimsy. The canvas feels fairly flexible. I'm just wondering how easy it is to scratch up this leather or nick the leather. So I probably, if I'm using this, I probably would get some sort of insert set made of felt just to protect the inside. But this is really cute at least in my opinion. I imagine this probably isn't super expensive for Louis Vuitton to make and not super labor intensive either because the design is so simple and there's one piece of hardware. Although in my opinion, I don't think hardware is that expensive. So just, just my opinion. So these snap open and close, but I do think this is a very versatile set for anyone who likes Louis Vuitton, or if you are kind of new to luxury brands and you wanna get your feet wet. Compared to the mini pochette, this retails for $745 also. You get one of these and you get three of these. And if we wanna make a direct size comparison, this I would say corresponds pretty well with the medium Kirigami pochette. Look at these guys. This is just one of three in a set that costs the same thing as one of these. Now this does have more hardware. The mini pochette has the gold chain, it has a zipper. There is a little bit more sewing to it, I would say. If we're going for versatility, value, and the amount of product you get, certainly the Kirigami pochette is a better value in those terms. I do think these are really super cute. Guys, I'm just getting in too deep here. And it didn't really help that my man J-Hope from BTS was seen at the Louis Vuitton fashion show recently, sporting tons of Louis Vuitton. He is my favorite member of BTS, and I was like, oh my gosh, he's a Louis Vuitton fan. He got went to the fashion show. He and Jimin went to a bunch of other shows. Right out of the box, these do seem like very functional and versatile items. You can use the small one for a number of things. You could use it for change. You could use it for cash cards, like little things. I could put AirPods in here. The medium size you could do. I've seen people do passports. I don't really go anywhere. I do have a passport. I could see myself putting like some little cosmetic items in here using this as a mini wallet. You could even technically use this as like a little micro bag. I know I did another video about the micro bag trend. The large one, of course, you could use this as a clutch, do a crossbody conversion on it, document holder, or you could put larger things in it and throw it in a bigger bag. So I do think this does seem like a good value, especially since Louis Vuitton is jacking up the price is on everything. This seems to be one of the few items I've seen that they offer that doesn't seem just outrageously expensive for what it is. And one thing I have seen people do is buy the set, keep one or two of the pushettes and then sell the rest on a resale site like Poshmark or Mercari. I've seen the large one going for about $450 to $500 online. I've seen the medium one going for about $350 to $400. And then the small one, about 225 to 250. There do seem to be a lot of these available on resale sites. So I do think that is affecting the price. And I've been really monitoring a lot of these sites and Facebook groups that sell Louis Vuitton items. I've been doing an experiment with three other items. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But I'm really starting to see kind of a saturation to the resale market of Louis Vuitton and designer items. And the price of these items on the secondhand market are, are really good. So if you are looking to buy pre-loved Louis Vuitton or other designer items, now is probably the time to start looking because there are a lot of these items available. I've seen some really great deals on like new or excellent condition items 
being sold well below retail. I'll put some links down below in the description box of some of my favorite places to look. Yuki's Closet is also an excellent site. There's Fashion File, but I personally have seen better prices on Yugi's Closet, especially on brand new items, but they go super, super quick. And I have noticed that Yugi's Closet does not charge sales tax to many states, including mine. So Fashion File does, so I can save a little bit more if I'm shopping on Yugi's Closet, just because I don't have to pay that Florida state sales tax. Facebook groups are another great place to look. There's one called like Ritzy's Marketplace and then another one called Louis Vuitton Goldmine that's run by like a guy in his 20s from Montana, which is pretty wild. I would say that Facebook group seems to have pretty quality postings in there. And I've seen a lot of great deals in there as well. Of course, you, you could look on Poshmark and Mercari, but the downside of those sites is that I feel like you really have to try to vet the sellers, do a little more due diligence there. And also the fees seem to have those sellers needing to raise their prices a bit more than the Facebook groups, just because Poshmark, I think takes like 20%. I think Mercari takes like 10%, something like that. They have to take into account the fees with their pricing versus Facebook groups, you really don't. I also found a few good Louis Vuitton resellers on Instagram. So I'm gonna link some of them down in the description box, but I'm gonna be sharing this in another video, but I bought something from a reseller who goes by Gwen's Lux Shop. She was lovely to interact with. So I do recommend her as a reseller. She's been doing it for quite some time and she was just a super nice person. So I'm gonna be sharing that in another video coming soon. But let me know what you think about the Kirigami Pochette set by Louis Vuitton. Is this a great value? I've also seen people on Reddit say they bought the set, but they didn't really know what to do with these items. I just think they're really cute. I'm just curious to see what the pricing on these items will be in the future. If you think there's going to be a price increase on the Kirigami set, what do you see Louis Vuitton hiking it up to? I can honestly see Louis Vuitton making this over a thousand dollars, especially because you do get three items. If you get like a business card holder, the Emprunt one is like 360 and that's just for one item. They also have like just very small card holders for like 250. So the fact that you do get three items with this set and one of them is fairly large and could technically be used as a handbag. And if we're talking luxury pricing here, I do think this is a solid value for the money in terms of what you get. That can only last so long. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you see this set retailing for in the future? And is this one you have or are interested in? Let me know as well. And if you have any ideas for how to use all of the push-outs, please drop me a note because I'm really curious about ideas. And if there's any other videos you want me to see to do with these items to help you with your purchasing decision and research, also, you know, drop me a note. Anyways, I'm Jen. I'll see you guys again in the next video.